Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Hey, handsome. This is gonna be a long night, but these shots are turning out great. I guess you're gonna need that coffee then. I'll go put it on. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay, hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know, it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wick, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me, I need to take this. 
Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? Night. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. For watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Hey. Of course, Mr. Wake. Hey. You can get yeah, there through the uh, silk here. I'm at the air station with Thornton. and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. <laughs> Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh! Hey! Oh my! Take it easy. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake? My offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. 
I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him. Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at Everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do you and everything's understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? <laughs> it's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. If you try to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha-ha, <laughs> let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Look, Al, you're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded... That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, <gasps> Barry. <gasps> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. <laughs> Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Achoo! Hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every 
Step of the way, Al. Watch the door now. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. show folks as promised our very own dr nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio doc what's your deer fest plan like my plan you make it sound a lot more organized than i ever seem to manage <laughs> oh. <laughs> no plan really just taking the atmosphere i'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that you know oh tell me about it no sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? <laughs> yes, exactly, Pat. But I'm gonna check out the parade, of course. And now, one of the five times I've done the and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to punish, especially in Night Springs. Tonight's episode, The Man in the Mirror. He's inside, Agent. He's a weird one. So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? And it coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists? Wow. That sentence really flows, huh? Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face. Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him, either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh, how about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. The white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. You won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? I left my mark. Believe me. You, you bastard. What? You gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. You got me. I... I don't understand any of this. And you never will. Don't worry. Maybe you'll see me again, Agent. Maybe in the mirror.
Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. I found... Game true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must... The lights. In the office. I, I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Shh, good boy. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Rusty! Rusty! The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. Please don't feed the animals. Fishing is only permitted for those prisoners who the bridges of work. Fishing. License, no bay! The park ranger's instructions. At all times. Rusty? Rusty, no! Never!
Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. 